Dear pre-calculus students, in this video we'll be doing four problems on finding the difference quotient of a function. For the first one, we have f of x is equal to 8x minus 3. And let me write down the difference quotient formula for you guys. We have f of a plus h and then minus f of a and then all divided by h. And we just have to work this out. And I can also tell you guys this right now. We can expect to cancel this h from the bottom. If we can successfully cancel that out, you know we are on the right track, right? Okay, so we see that for this, all we have to do is just plug in a plus h into this x right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and write that down here. We have 8 times a plus h and then minus 3. So this right here is the first part. And the next, we are going to minus and let's open the parentheses for this part. For f of a, just go ahead and plug in the a into here. So we are looking at 8a minus 3 here. And then all this is o divided by h. Hmm, just like that. And now, you see how I purposely left a space right here because I would recommend you guys to just go ahead and do the work and then put the results above it. It's that like you go out to buy ice cream, you know, put the ice cream on top, on top, on top, on top just like that, and just be organized. That's the key of being successful in doing these kind of questions. All right, distribute this, we get 8a plus 8h, and then here we see the minus 3, and then we are going to distribute the negative, so we have negative 8a, and then plus 3. And now, here is the most satisfying, the most satisfying part when we are doing this kind of questions. We can do the cancellation now. Have a look. 8a minus 8a, they cancel each other. Here we have minus 3, here we have plus 3. They cancel each other. So in fact, on the top, we just have the 8h left. But you see, we have this h on the bottom. What can we do? Yeah, we can just go ahead and cancel the h. And you see, we can cancel the h from the bottom. That means we did this right, most likely. <laughs> All right, so in fact, the answer is just this number, namely eight, and then we are done for this. Okay, for the second function, we have f of x is equal to three x squared minus five x. So again, I'm going to write down the difference quotient formula for you guys. And then minus f of a, and then o divided by h. And again, let's just work this out. Uh, maybe we are going to leave some space right here. Have a look for this, we have to plug in a plus h into this x and also that x. So we have 3 and then open the parentheses a plus h and uh, square that and then minus 5 times a plus h. This right here is the first part. Alright, to continue, we minus and open the parentheses for f of a just plugging the a into the x right here. So we get 3a squared and also the x right here. So we have minus 5a. So that's what we have. And this is all divided by h. And now, again, we're just going to do all the algebra and then put on the result above this. And then you will see the cancellation part. All right, let's work this out first. So we're looking at a plus h squared. Work this out, we get parentheses, and then we have a squared plus 2ah, and then plus h squared. And we still have the 3 in front though, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then distribute the 3, so we're looking at 3a squared plus 6ah, and then plus 3h squared. So this is what we have from the first part. To continue, distribute the negative 5, so we have minus 5a and then minus 5h. Alright, work this out, we get negative 3a squared and then plus 5a. Now what can we do? Cancel things out, right? 3a squared, cancel with that. And uh, negative 5a. 5a. I think that's it. And notice, these are the remaining things. But everybody has an h, so we can factor that out. And the point for that is because we can cancel this out. 
<laughs> so we are going to factor out the h, and we are looking at h times 6a, and then plus 3h to the first power, because we took one out already, and then we have minus 5 in the parentheses like this. And this is all divided by this h. And ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, we know we did it right, assuming we didn't make any computation mistakes right here. But the answer is just equal to that, which is 6a plus 3h minus 5. Just like that. Now for the third one, we have a square root case. f of x is equal to square root of 2 minus x, but we do the same thing. So again, the difference quotient is f of a plus h, and then minus f of a, and then divided by h. Alright, so set this up, we are looking at, well, for this right here, we put a plus h in here, so we have square root 2 minus the parentheses with a plus h inside. So that's the first part. And then we continue, we have minus f of a, we just put a in here, so we just have square root of 2 minus a. Yeah, and then o divided by h. So this right here is not so bad. However, to simplify this, you see, again, the goal is to get rid of the h on the bottom, and later on in calculus you'll see why that will be the crucial part. For now, just treat this as an algebra exercise. When we have square root situations like this, just remember to use the conjugate. We are going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of this. So we get square root, and then of course we can distribute the negative, so we are looking at 2 minus a and then minus h, but change the minus here to a plus, and then we have the square root 2 minus a. And we of course do the same thing on the bottom, so let's just go ahead and put that down right here. Square root of 2 minus a and then minus h, and then plus square root of 2 minus a. And the purpose of the conjugate is that, remember, when we have a minus b times a plus b. This right here is going to be really nice because the result is just going to be a squared minus b squared, isn't it? So to multiply out the top, we can just take the first thing and we can just square that. And the beauty for that is square and square root cancel. So we just have the inside, which is just 2, and then we have minus a and then minus h. So this right here is the first part. All right, and then we have to minus the second part. And then you square that, so we just have 2 minus a inside, like so. All right, and again we can just distribute this, so we are really looking at 2 minus a minus h, and then minus 2, and then plus a. All right, so this is how you work out the top. And on the bottom, because we are expecting to cancel out this h, so do not multiply anything out. Just trust me for that. Just leave it. Just focus on what we can do right here. Have a look. First off, 2 minus 2, they cancel out to be 0. Likewise, minus 8 and positive 8. So the truth is, we only have a negative h on the top. And we see we have h times all this on the bottom. So, we can come here and cancel out this h with that h. You see? And in the end, remember, remember, on the top we have that negative 1, and then over all this on the bottom, and we'll just write it down. So we have the square root, and we have all that. 2 minus a minus h, and then plus square root, and we have 2 minus a. I know, usually in algebra, we like to rationalize the denominator, but in this situation, we kind of rationalize the numerator. And you see the point is to cancel this h. And we did it. This right here is the answer. For number 4, we have a rational function, 4x over x plus 1. And I will of course write down the difference quotient for you guys again. And the point that I've been writing this down 4 times for you guys, it's because 
the more we write it down, the better we remember it. That's why. So f of a plus h, and then minus f of a, and then o divided by h. And let me tell you, this time we are going to leave like a really big, like a really big space. So I'm going to put this down right here. Check this out. First, for f of a plus h, we put a plus h into here and here. So we have 4 times a plus h and then over a plus h into the x and then plus 1. So that's the first part. And then we continue. We have the minus and the f of a, we just have 4a over a plus 1. We have two fractions already, right? But you know what? We have one more. One big fraction bar and then oh, oh, over h. So we have one fraction, two fraction, and the big one. So technically three fractions. And this is called a complex fraction. And the way to simplify this is the following. We are going to be multiplying the top and bottom by the least common denominator of the small fractions. And of course, in this case, it would be just this times that. And let's write down this right here first because it only has two terms. And then let's write down the one has three terms right here. So this is the usual style. And remember, whatever you multiply on the top, you also do the same on the bottom. So we have a plus 1 times a plus h plus 1 on the bottom as well. And now, we just have to work this out. Check this out. This times that. This and that cancel. So we just have 4 times a plus h, which we can distribute already. So we have 4a plus 4h. So that's this. But we have to take this and multiply with a plus 1. So that's the first part. And we see we have the minus right here. So let's put it down. And we have 4a over that times this. Well, a plus 1 will cancel. So we just have the 4a times this a plus h plus 1. And now, we're just going to be multiplying this out and distribute this and then combine terms. Hmm? That's why I told you guys to leave a big space for that, right? Anyway, continue. This times that, we get 4a squared. And then this times that, we get plus 4a. And then this times that, we get plus 4. And let's put the a first and then the h. Lastly, this times that, we get plus 4h. Good. All right, distribute negative 4a into here. So we have minus 4a squared and then minus 4ah and lastly, minus 4a. Whew. A lot of things. But you know what? This is the one that's going to give us the most satisfaction because we have a lot of, to, a lot of things to cancel. All right, have a look. 4a squared and minus 4a squared, they cancel each other out. Perfect. Likewise, 4a minus 4a. Why else? Look, this is 4ah and this is minus 4ah, so they cancel out as well. So in the end, on the top, we actually just have 4h. And you know what's the best part? This and that cancel out. So we know we are on the right track because we got rid of the h on the bottom. This and that cancel out. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to write down the final answer for you guys. We have a 4 on the top though, so let's put that down right here, over the denominator, which is a plus 1, times all that, which is a plus h, and then plus 1. And perhaps I will you know, put a 4 mm, a little bit toward the middle, like this. So it looks better. So this right here will be the difference quotient of this rational function. So hopefully this video helps. And if you guys need more help, you guys can check out my other videos. And you guys can also subscribe for future videos. And as always, that's it.